We are sporting challenges, and you've got one heck of one now, haven't you? We absolutely have, yes, Mike. One to Thank beat. you very much indeed. I don't yeah. think it's going to be too hard to beat, actually, Mike. No. <laughs> Thanks very much. Uh, we're talking about the, what's known as the world's toughest rowing race. It's a 3,000 mile slog across the Atlantic. And for the first time, there are three all women teams which are going to be taking part. Yeah, and they've never really done anything like this at all before. We're going to meet them in a second. One of the teams is made up of four working mums from Yorkshire who are planning to break a world record in this year's Talisker Atlantic Challenge. But before we meet them, let's get our hearts racing, some dramatic music. Let's see what they're letting themselves in for, shall we? Fancy it? Uh, you know, I'd never say no. I would. <laughs> uh, we're joined now by the four women who are taking part. Jeanette Bernardi, Helen Butters, Nikki Doeg and Francis Davies. Good morning Good to morning. all of you. Good morning. Good morning. When, when you see that and hear the music and you know what you're letting yourselves in for, do you think, oh, I'm not sure about this, or do you think, bring it on? <laughs> it's exciting. Both, really. Yeah, it's kind of scary watching that and seeing what we're going to do. And... Um, it's it's a little bit like a dream. I mean, we've just crossed the North Sea and we're just like mums and, and, and it's hard for it to sink in. It's like, did we really row a hundred miles across the North Sea? That's what you were doing last week. weekend. That's probably yeah. your training. Last week. Yeah. Crossing yeah. the busiest shipping lanes in the world. You know, when you say we're just mums, I'm going to have to pull you up on this. <laughs> <laughs> because mums, dads all around the country are going, you know, parenting's pretty tough. Yes, what you're doing is pretty tough. But, you know, there's more to this than you just being mums and, and getting together and saying, let's give this a go. You're going to spend three months away from home. You're going to train like crazy. At times you'll be um, rowing naked to avoid chafing. Nikki, this is all your fault. No, it's Francis's fault. <laughs> Francis yeah. is Pass the ball. Pass the ball. Oh, this Don't is the team spirit. <laughs> this is the team spirit already. OK, Francis, it's your fault. Nikki, yeah. I apologise. I waited until they just had a drink or two at a dinner that we were at and then I popped the question and they all said yes straight away. How much drink? <laughs> it was quite late in the <laughs> evening. It was probably a post-midnight question. I mean, why? Because you're the oldest, you're going to be the oldest combined age, mm -hmm. you're going to be the oldest team on, on the water. There are three female teams. What, how have you been prepared for this mentally? Because it's all very well saying, look, let's get together, let's do this. You were, you were at a rowing club together, weren't you? Yeah, but yeah. mentally, how is this prepared, Gina Key? Um, well, we've all got kids and husbands and, and busy lives. And I think just that, fitting, in, fitting everything in around those, those aspects of our life is really, really hard. But we've also had to learn with husbands and kids to compromise and to juggle and to ha handle life challenges that maybe younger people haven't had to deal with. And so a lot of that's going to help us on the water. Um, but um, the physical side is just one tiny, tiny part of it. There's a lot else going on out there. But the, the, the physical side of it is enormous as well. I mean, 3,000 miles, it, it's, that's an enormous challenge you have ahead of you. How, how do you prepare for the physical side of it, let alone the mental? Uh, that's quite challenging for me because I am not an athletic person. And I but don't... you're strong, yeah? Yeah, yeah she I'm is fairly really strong. strong. Yeah, 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 she's yeah. Great. yeah. But I'm not, you know, I couldn't run a marathon, for example, because it's, that's kind of really physical. But in terms of the strength, I think that will, will help us quite a lot, really, won't it? Helen, Hopefully. can you tell us a little bit about what it's going to be like on the boat? Like the nitty gritty of being on the boat, perhaps yeah. the, the not so rousing part. Well, we experienced a bit of that when we rode across the North Sea. Um, and I, in particular, um, suffered with with seasickness so I know that that's going to be an issue for me so I spent the first 24 hours basically throwing up rowing throwing up rowing throwing up. so I had literally nothing um, inside me other than a Marks and Spencer's flapjack and managed to you know sort of 
have that down. But you've just got your sponsorship sorted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was the only thing that managed to uh, stay down. But, um, um, but sorry. No, I just wonder. I mean, so, so how are you going to cope with that? I mean, it's, it's going to be rough and then some during the, the yeah. what you've got to well, do. Well, that's the challenge. I mean, this is not an easy thing to do, and we've basically picked something that's extreme, hmm. and it is extreme. But but. Um, I suppose for me, um, you know, that's going to be a real issue. But I'm just going to have to. I'm just going to have to deal with it. Um, do loads of research that to was try quite and hard find for out. us as well, wasn't it? Yes. It was quite hard for yeah. us because she pinched the toilet bucket. Yeah, she pinched the toilet <laughs> bucket. She wouldn't let. One bucket, yeah. yeah. She wouldn't yeah. let. We need two the buckets. buckets. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We did have a bedpan actually as well, so we're experimenting with bucket it's, or bedpan. It just <laughs> sounds so. It sounds so <laughs> glamorous. Um, Jeanette, you've been picked as team captain. What's your strategy? Because it's the mental side. We've, we've mentioned this already. Ready, but it's the mental side. So, what's your strategy when any of you are low? Because it's not just you looking after the three; you're looking yeah. after each other. What What are you going to go out there and keep focused on? I, it's about commitment and perseverance, and also about patience. Um, you know, I am. It is a responsible role as skipper of the boat, and I do feel responsible for for these three ladies, mm. and that is uh, an enormous pressure on my shoulders, which is. I'm happy to take on because I know that you know you're all great. It's a really good team. We work, we do work really well together. We have you know our strengths and we have our weaknesses, and we're learning more about those. As, as we're all the, really different, and I think that's yeah. what makes the team work. Because I think you know the four of us bring very very different things, and I think that's what makes it. Well, you, you want to inspire your kids. We've had so yeah. many texts and emails from yeah. other people that you've inspired of all yeah. sorts of ages. Yeah. Fact, somebody suggested you, that you should be, be made a movie. You should make yeah. a movie about it. <laughs> we can talk about that another time. Come back when you've done it. Good luck. Okay? Good luck. Good luck. Oh, good luck. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>